Hey there, LZ Zeta here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Kirby Mass Attack. In the last episode, we were doing more stages of Volcano Valley. And in this episode, we have a few more stages left to do. Four, in fact, approximately, so... Uh, let's start with this level, because this level looks like it's another headache-inducing one, so I'd rather just get it out of the way as soon as possible. I don't know their actual name, so I'm just gonna call them Zixa after the character I made one into Kirby Adventure. The most unpronounceable character name ever. I don't really know what I was thinking with that. X Y X X A. Oh look, a giant hand. Wham Bam Rock, is that you? Oh, good, cool. Once again, glad I'm not going for star requirements. Because sometimes they are just very frustrating. Honestly, if there is going to be any one change I make to this game at all, it absolutely would be to just remove the star requirements completely from the game. Like, not even rank... To not even, like, apply them whatsoever. To just completely remove them. Like, you don't get ranked for, for, your, for your progress in the level. Just remove that entirely. Because, like, even if you're not going for 100%, it still just kind of feels bad, you know? It's not a really good feeling to feel like, Oh, you only did so well in this stage. <laughs> like, it... Because, like, even if there's no, like, 100% requirement in the sense of, like, the checklist or anything, like, it still just makes you feel like you're not doing as well as you could or should. And I feel like that shouldn't... In a game like this, where you're not in control of your characters, like, it's an unnecessary ask. Like, getting the medals is one thing. Usually that's done as, like, part of the actual game and level and whatnot, level design. But needing to do the... Even just feeling like you're not doing as well as you could or should be from just accidentally taking a bit of damage, it's a very stringent requirement and very stressful and just, again, it really just doesn't feel good. So... Yeah, that would be my big... Number one big change, although number two would be remove the rainbow medals. Or at the very least... One thing I don't exactly remember in particular is if you need all the rainbow medals or only just some of them. But, yeah, I do feel like that has an overall pretty, pretty quickly negative impact overall on the game. For those two things. Remove those and I feel like, just in general, it would be a lot better. Although one thing I am curious about is how the game would have fared if it was less of a platformer and more just emphasis on, like... more emphasis on the puzzle mechanics in, in a general sense, because I feel like Kirby Mass Attack, in general, is at its best. What? Oh, I, I can't see what's going on because the camera is locked at this position. I didn't even realize like, Kirby fell off, which I what I guess happened. I do wonder what, like, 
I've been thinking about like what this game might be like if it was a little bit more like something like Lemmings in a way, where it's like you see, you have just puzzle box rooms with a certain amount of Kirby's per stage, and you have to get all the Kirby's to the end. And so, like, the gimmick of the game is not platforming, but just, like, strategy and puzzle solving. It's not the same game, certainly, and so I don't really want to be like, Oh, they should have made this game instead. Like, clearly they want to make Kirby Mass Attack. So they made Kirby Mass Attack, and not Kirby with Lemmings. So, I, I'm not, I'm not going to try and be like, how dare they not make this completely different kind of game. But it does make me wonder what that kind of game would have been like, and if I would have preferred it or not. Angry Fists! Smash the fist. Oh god. Okay. Problem solved. We got the rainbow medal and that's all that matters. I was very worried the moment I saw that thing and I saw these clouds, I was like, no, please, please don't do this to me. But, no, it, it worked out. Okay. Thankfully, that stage honestly wasn't quite as bad as the other one, I don't think. And now back to Spooky Town. We got a success! Yay! Well, here's the button we were looking for. Plop. You got something new and extras. Ah, I see. So this is a situation where you're supposed to do stage 8 and 10. Both. Wait, hold on. Why do they even number the stages if they're just going to do it out of order? This is stage 9 right here. So you do stage 8 and 10 to get into 9. Why even number them at that point? That just... Why not just give them names? Instead of numbers. If you, if you can do them out of order anyway. And if they're going to literally be out of order. Like, that doesn't, just doesn't make sense. Whatever, here's the button we're looking for. And this level, certainly, from what I remember, takes a completely different cue from the rest of the everything. Because instead of being volcano-y or graveyard-y, now we're in a spaceship. Filled with space monkeys. Got a nice baseline though. That poor second button. No love for it. Why have a shortcut door that early on? Well... Let's see what the exclamation point has to say. Okay. So, it, 
I guess that's why they have the thing there, because they just want you to be able to skip a lot of this stuff. What are you gonna say? Ah, you're just giving us another tutorial on the murky water. Too much to say. Clam. One. I really wish that there was like a sort of a, a better clause for the, in this game for like. When one Kirby is stuck behind a wall and can't get through. It's very annoying. Oh. I was chasing that guy so strongly because I figured, oh, there's probably going to be metal with this guy, right? Wait, when did I lose a Kirby? I love that the camera changed, and I instantly lost a Kirby because of it, or got hurt by a Kirby because of it. Very nice. Also, we're almost drowning, so let's try and prevent that from happening. Alright, well, we got two portraits now. Green apples. Let's just... Oh, cool! Okay, you're just a regular metal. I love that in the cutscene, all the bubbles that I tried to spawn... ...all vanished. Well then. I love that all the bubbles vanished on me. Wonderful f fucking game design. I'll be right back. Well this time I know I can ignore that because it is just a regular metal and not a rainbow one. So... very easily just move on and not have to deal with annoying cutscenes or anything of the like. Instead I can just get all three things without any problems or awkwardness or frustration or instant death annoyances, which I already kind of mentioned, but still. Okay, so that is what I wanted to test. I wanted to see if I'd be able to put the pieces away and then not have to, like, keep those Kirby's protected, but I guess... I guess that's not allowed. Oh, 
Well, we got four pieces now. The big thing is that I gotta be sure that I'm keeping an eye out, not only for these things, but also for the rainbow metal. So, I'm just... There's just a lot of cautions, basically, is the point. Double checking everything I can. For a level that's an, as annoying and as long as this has been, I really do not want to miss the rainbow metal here. Hit the block, please. Thank you. Why is this spider making so much dramatic noise? I knew there, there had to be something they were hiding. Ah, uh, but it was just a portrait thing. So now I just have the yellow door to go through, I think. No, I already- I was just in here, wasn't I? Okay, so I just messed up my doors then. Oops. Well, let's rush through this then, I guess. Oops. Really could've sworn I went through the blue door. Alright, blue door it is. I really could have sworn I went through the blue door to get there, but I don't know. No bombs for you. Yep. Two portraits in this door. So one more remains. 
Man, it is nowhere yet. We still don't have. We've only, we've only seen one medal in this entire stage so far. There's another metal. And number two? Yeah. Uh, sure, I'll take you. Okay, I'm gonna guess we need to beat this dude. There we go, let's get to this sliding puzzle and get out of here. Alright. You have the blueprint. Now I'll slide them around. Not the worst in the world because it's a swapping sliding puzzle thing compared to, you know, the usual slide puzzle thing. A wrench! Oh, we're gonna build it. The power of Kirby's, I guess. Alright, well, let's hope we can find the last three medals and one of them's a... Well, we know one of them's a rainbow medal, because the first one was not a rainbow medal. So... We'll find it eventually. Oh, I remember this. Sort of, at least. Seeing it again, I'm reminded of it. It would be much nicer if all you had to do was, like... Tap. Rather than like fling a Kirby into it. But I guess the thing there is that you could just keep tapping all the things no matter what and like have absolutely no problem. That was a stressful moment in a half right there, when I saw that metal. Imagine missing that in this other scrolling nonsense. Give us the button. It's all we want. All we want is a button.
Okay, well, we have come into contact with them. Okay. Well, now we're just being patient. Trying to be sneaky about which ones they leave out, but it's not really that hard. Umbrellas! So now we gotta be careful that we don't hit an umbrella, because that'll hit us back, I assume. Just gotta be patient, really. Not really much else to say or do about it. Alright, give us the button. We got our button. This all could have been avoided had they just left it alone. To be continued, apparently. To have to continue. If only all cliffhangers were like that. Oh, there's another stage, apparently. A space stage. Stage 11. So you need to beat stage 10 and 11 to get to stage 9. Makes perfect sense to me. Kirby's have been ejected. We are now in space. It sounds like a Mario Party here now. I'm looking forward to Mario Party Superstars when that comes out. It might even be out by the time this video in particular comes out. I've never played any of the original N64 Mario Parties. Not really. So, like, I'm excited because all the boards... Oh. Blue Kirby Army time! All the boards are going to be brand new to me, even though they're all old boards. I have a feeling that by the end of September, there's going to be some sort of Nintendo Direct. Probably revealing the last Smash character. As well. But, like, Mario Party comes out next, next month, and they've only really discussed it once. And usually there is a September Nintendo Direct, so... I, I have a feeling. I'm not, like dead set on it happening. If it doesn't happen, it'll be like, okay, makes sense, whatever. Makes enough sense. But, like, I feel like they could do a September Direct and have enough to show. You know? And who knows, maybe this will be very ironic. And... What's the word? Trying to think of the word of like narrative irony or whatever it's called. The thing where like people who know people watching or reading know what's going on, but people in the content of the thing don't know what's going on. So it's like, haha, we know what the answer is, but you actually don't know what the answer is, and that's what makes it funny. 
There's a term for it. Narrative ironies. It's not necessarily inherently wrong, it's just not really what it's supposed to be. Kill the squeegee. Space squeegee must die. Space Mushrooms, what is this, Mario Galaxy? Yep, this is fun. I don't know why that got this guy just takes for freaking ever, but he does. So, once again, slow game. Nothing to really be gained for that. I keep thinking that, like, he's gonna be, like, hiding something. Something special. Something noteworthy. We just keep getting nothing. It's disappointing. Well, Scully time, everybody. Scully's in space! I mean, I guess that's kind of where they came from. In space. Do, 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 do. I'm just gonna mindlessly throw Kirby's in the air. Eventually, they'll kill the Scullies. I'm not really paying attention, but you're all dead. The theme song doesn't even get to finish. I feel bad for them. The theme song's the best part of the Skull game. Alright, we got our medal. Moving on. Say. Need to hit music note doors. Oh, elevator. Okay, I wasn't expecting an elevator. Bleep bloop. Yep. Hit it. There we go. Since there is a bit of a time limit on those things, I think it's better to try and, like, delay the first hit so that you have as much time as possible to get... You know, just in case. Oh, that's not a thing to attack. Dum, da 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 Okay. 
slow. I'll gladly accept Kirby's dying if it means I get the Rainbow Medal. The Rainbow Medal is all I need and care about. <sighs> Two Kirby's I can replace. My time, I cannot. Okay. Monkeys! Why are the monkeys spacefarers, anyway? What? What? I, I disagree with that. I disagree with that one. No, it'll be nice with the belly thing. Considering that you just get useless bonus points. I feel like it would be nice if there was, like, some sort of way to, like, store, kind of like Squeak Squad-esque, store your belly, I don't know, so that whenever you needed to, you'd be able to... You'd, you'd be able to make more Kirby's, you know? That'd be pretty useful, I'd argue. And, in a way, it would also solve some of the problems of, like, losing a Kirby, and then, like, you just got through, like, a whole bunch of fruit areas, and it would make fruit more useful when you have only... when you already have ten. I feel like that would definitely solve a big annoyance with the... I feel like it would solve a big annoyance with the game's level design in, this, in that sense. Um... Thanks, camera. Okay, just barely got that, no thanks to the camera. And it's probably just going to be regular metal, but at this point, might as well get it. Because again, the thing is, I don't want to just completely ignore the, the challenges being presented to me. As long as they don't insta-kill me, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with pretty much anything. I mean, I've done pretty much everything in this game before. that I actually get the fruit this time, because, you know... Missing Kirby and all that. Okay. 
Well, we missed the medal, but it's not the rainbow medal, so I don't care. Moving on with life. Now we're not in space. <laughs> they just have the button here. Okay, well... This is unfortunate. Um, if I have to replay a level, I, I guess I'll replay stage one. But I also am missing a rainbow medal there. So... Be right back. Alright, well, I got the 10th Kirby, so now I'm just gonna be on the lookout for the Rainbow Metal, and hopefully it's before the shortcut door. Break that person. This is a new pathway. I haven't been down here. So the question is, is this where the rainbow metal is going to be? either the first one, which I don't know where it is, or it's the last one. I think I know where the last one is, actually. The last one's gonna be the tree I wasn't able to do because I didn't... because I accidentally didn't do the thing right. The first one, cool. The one that I somehow missed and I don't understand where I've missed it. Wonderful. So this was all a waste of time. Cool. Well, whatever, I have all the Kirby's anymore. And I guess it's good to note that you can get your you can set your Kirby's on fire in that stage, and it doesn't count as damage. So, that's something. Anyways, I've been playing for a while, I might as well just end the episode here and do stage 9 in the next episode, because this one's going to be a long, long one anyway, and then that way I can kind of like combine next episode with this, the boss, and then the inevitable metal, metal collecting backtracking I'm going to have to do, so. See you guys in the next episode for more Kirby Mass Attack.